Good day. What will you tell me is the answer if I give you the following calculation to do? What would you say is the answer? 14? 20? What did you get? Let's have a look. If you said 2 plus 3, that will be 5. And 5 times 5, 4 is 20. Okay, but uh, I got 14. So how did I get that? I said 3 times 4 first. And that was 12. And then I had to add the 2. And 2 plus 12 is 14. Now, who's wrong? Who's right? You know what? The same thing happened a lot of years ago. And in the olden days, the people realized that the answers that they got will be different if they don't set specific rules in how to handle calculations. And so they set these rules, and maybe you have heard of it. In short, we can call that bot mass. But what does BOTMAS stand for? BOTMAS is actually the order of operations in which we should do a calculation. So in this lesson, we are going to have a look at the order of operations. The first one, the B. The B stands for brackets. So if you have a calculation, you need to do the brackets first. Then you check whether there's an O. What does the O stand for? The O stands for of, and of means multiply, and or or the O stands for orders. In other words, exponents. And powers that we need to do then first. Then we get to the D. The D stands for division. And the M is multiplication. The A stands for addition. And the S for subtraction. Now, if you have a look at these rules, does it mean that division is more important than multiplication? No, we should do the division and multiplication from left to right as they are equal. So we are going to do them from left to right in our calculations. The addition and the subtraction, does it mean that addition is more important? No, we should also do that from left to right. So let's have a look at our example that we did, that we started off. 2 plus 3 times 4. Who's now correct? Sorry, this time it's me. Because we need to do the multiplication before we do addition. So you need to say 3 times 4 is 12. And the 2 should be added. So 2 plus 12 is 14. And the answer is not 20. Let's do an example to see whether you understand. 9 divided by 3 times 10 plus 25 times 2 plus 5. If I give you this calculation, and, and boys and girls, actually you did this um, in grade 6 already and lower grades already. But if you have a look at this, what will you do? Which ones will you tackle first? Let's see, I have division and multiplication. Oh, so they are equally important, so I need to deal with them. Now, if you need to indicate which ones you are doing first, please do not put brackets, because brackets might change the value if you get to the higher grades and there's negative signs as well. Don't put brackets. But if you want to indicate that you are doing it first, you can make a little, let's say, loopy or down bracket there like that. 
So I'm going to do the division first because according to my bot mass, division and multiplication are equally important. I need to do from left to right. So I will say 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then I still need to multiply that by 10. Plus, now I can do the 25 times 2. I cannot add the 25 with this first. I need to do the multiplication first. So 25 times 2 is 50 plus 5. Here, 3 times 10 is 30 plus 50 plus 5 will give me an answer of 85. Do you understand it? Does it make sense to you? Let's do another example to see whether you understand. Example 2. 15 plus 2 times 4 times 10 minus 7 minus 4. What should you do there? Let's see. We have brackets. So we need to do the brackets first. We are first going to see and to say 10 minus 7. So please, boys and girls, and very important, do not swap the order of your values. Do not write the 10 minus 7, that's a 3, do not write it there first. Okay? You need to keep all these. So I'm going to say 15 plus 2 times 4 times 3, because 10 minus 7 is 3, minus 4, equals. And now again, I have their multiplication. So let's do that. 15 plus 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24, minus 4. So 15 plus 24 will give me 39, and 39 minus 4 is 35. Now have a look here. I said 2 times 4 times 3. Couldn't I have said 2 times 3, that is 6, and 6 times 4, that's also 24? Yes, I could have said that. And that is a property of whole numbers. So we are also going to discuss properties of whole numbers. Right, so the properties of whole numbers, the first one that we saw just there, we call the associative property. First one is associative. What does it say? What does it mean? What does it entail? It means that if I have A times B times C, A times B times C will be exactly the same value as A times B times C, but now the brackets at the B times C, which means if we follow order of operations, I should do this brackets first. But it will give me exactly the same answer if I um, have done the B times C first. And this is, yeah, it's exactly there. That's the associative property that we can see and that we can also use. Right, now have a look here, the next one. We said 15 plus 24. Sure, it was actually a bit hard maybe to say that it was 39. It should have been easier maybe to say 24 minus 4. That you could have done. And if you say 24 minus 4, it means that um, it will also give you the same answer if you, as if you have done 15 plus 24 minus 4. Okay, so this one is also the same as the associative one. So I could have said A plus B plus C equals the same as A plus B plus C that we could have also done. Okay, so there's the two examples of the associative property. Then we get another property that we call the commutative property. The commutative property means, for example, if I have something that says A times B, that will give me exactly the same value than B times A. Do you agree? Let's check. 
If I say two times three, that is six. But if I say three times two, that's also six. So I will have exactly the same answer. It also happens when I add. I can say A plus B will be the same as B plus A. Do you agree? Yes. But please, careful maybe with the minus, ne? with the negative one. Then the third property that's very important, and that is also what you need to use when you are doing your calculations. Remember, we need to do our order of operations, but then we can also apply our properties of whole numbers. The last property is the distributive property. Now, let me show you. I'm going to do an example there. Example three, I will have two times 12 plus three. Now I could have said now, I could have done my brackets first by saying 12 plus three is 15 and then two times 15 will be 30. Or, and this is the distributive property. What can I also do? I can say, you know what? Two times 12, I'm multiplying the two outside the bracket with a 12 plus the two times three will give me an answer of 24 plus six and that is 30. So I got to the same answer. So this we call the distributive property. So I'm gonna write the example here. A, um, B plus C, will be exactly the same as AB plus AC. Boys and girls, I do hope that you understand it and that it makes a bit more sense to you and that you need to realize, hopefully now, that it's very important that even though you know the order of operations and the properties of whole numbers, you should know your multiplication times tables. Otherwise, you might struggle doing this calculations. Until next time. Goodbye.